Another deadly day on Lake Travis. The message from first responders hoping you will take the danger seriously. Tonight, the Travis County Sheriff's Office insists Lake Travis is like no other. It is literally a flooded canyon and it is dangerous. Over the weekend, a swimmer was pulled from the lake unconscious after struggling in the water. 46-year-old Juan Maldonado died minutes later. As KXN's Brittany Glass reports, he is the fourth person to die on the lake this year. Thomas McGee spends a lot of time fishing on Lake Travis. I'm mostly during the week because on the weekends, too many people are too rough. And there's a lot of craziness going on out here. McGee says he tried to help a swimmer earlier this summer. We came out and we were going around past Marshall Ford and Channel and some people waved us over. Came out must have hit his head or something, but he passed away. It was really unfortunate and sad. Little is known about what led up to Saturday's incident. Mr. Maldonado was swimming in the water without a life vest on and that he went into some sort of distress. Lake Patrol deputies responded to the boat within four minutes and although CPR was performed, it was unsuccessful. It's absolutely tragic when we have situations like these on the lake because people go there to have a great time. Nobody goes to the lake thinking it can be deadly. And unfortunately, all too often it is. That's because Lake Travis is a dangerous body of water. There's low visibility. There are steep, steep drop-offs. And so you can be standing in three feet of water, take a step, and you're in 50 feet of water. But Travis County Sheriff's Office says the biggest danger is people not taking the lake seriously. We've never pulled a body out of Lake Travis that had a life jacket on, wearing it. That's what saves lives. Brittany Glass, KXAN News. Two other swimmers disappeared this past summer. They still haven't been found. There are now 13 bodies in Lake Travis that have never been recovered. The danger on Lake Travis is so real that groups like Collins Hope stock loner life jacket stations. There are three on Lake Travis, including this one at Lakeway City Park. It's on the honor system, so they're free to use, and then you should return them when you're finished. State numbers from last year show at least 80 children 17 or younger died from drowning. And you can't assume that the dangers in our lakes are the same across the board. The six bodies of water that make up the Highland Lakes chain are subject to change because of the weather. Overall, the LCRA says the lakes are 70% full. As the water levels change, so do the hazards to boaters and swimmers. 